Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video, and in this video I'm going to be going through my matchbook collection that I collected uh, mostly in the 80s and 90s as a kid and teenager. And uh, as you may recall, back then a lot of restaurants, or most restaurants, had a matchbook that you could take for free at the uh, you know desk when you on your way out and it functioned mainly as a business card you know for the restaurant but i had to stop collecting these because they don't give these out anymore and a lot of people don't smoke anymore so it's just not something that's popular anymore but in the old days it was very popular and because these were free i'd always grab one on my way out of a restaurant uh, kind of as a souvenir now i did grow up in the san francisco bay area so this is going to be fairly you know bay area centric However, um, there are going to be some from various travels that I've done and stuff like that as well in other areas. So this is going to be a little bit of a long video because I am going to go through all of these, but I'm going to go through them pretty fast because there's a lot of them. And uh, it'll be kind of like a look back in the past. Some of these might even be like collector's items and stuff um, from various famous places and stuff. And I was really fortunate growing up uh, as a kid because my mother and stepdad really liked to eat out a lot and would take me and my sister out to eat out quite a bit. Um, so I'm very lucky to have this collection and to be able to go through it. And some of these restaurants you may recognize, um, a lot of them are no longer in existence and some of them may actually still be in existence. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. What have we got here? Norman's. Oh, on College Avenue in Berkeley. Highly doubt this place still exists. I think it says Carmelo's. Uh, this is in New Orleans. Yeah, I went to New Orleans uh, in the 80s when I was a kid. Miss Ruby's. Uh, that place still exists. That's in New Orleans. Of course, California Pizza Kitchen still exists. Now, back then, it wasn't much of a chain or much as, as much of a chain. I've actually been to the one of the original ones. I think it was in like Beverly Hills. I think that's where this is from. Hyatt re uh, Hotels. What's this big one here? Uh, this is a Chinese restaurant. Let's see. Oh, Hong Kong Flower Lounge. They still exist. They've been there for years. Uh, this one's probably not that old, uh, maybe from the late 90s. Beach Blanket Babylon. This is from the 80s. Um, actually, they, they recently closed a couple years ago. Um, they're no longer doing shows in San Francisco anymore. Here's one that looks fairly old, the Disneyland Hotel. It's probably from the 80s. Uh, Harris Casinos. Here's a restaurant that no longer exists for sure, Hog Heaven. Uh, if any of you from San Francisco remember that restaurant, it says uh, Memphis style barbecue. Uh, this is a Chinese restaurant in uh, Menlo Park, California. El Crab Catcher, seafood specialists, where were they? Poipu Beach Kauai, oh interesting. Wonder if they're still there. Chez Panisse in Berkeley, they're definitely still there. Kind of doubt they're giving out matchbooks anymore, but um, like their Art Deco design there. Kauai Charcoal Broiler. Pasta, steaks, and fresh fish. Right on the beach at Poipu Beach Park. That's um, in uh, Kauai. Oh, actually, it's called Branakis. That's the name of the place there. Chevy's. Everyone knows Chevy's, right? Chevy's Mexican food. Metropole Restaurant on Shattuck. I think, yeah. I don't know if they still exist or not. NCL, um, Norwegian Cruise Lines. Litz or Leet's restaurant on Garvey and Monterey Park. I wonder if they're still there. I don't think this one's too old, probably from the late 90s. Oh, another Harrah's matchbook. Uh, then the Nugget from Reno.
Petunias, um, I remember this place in New Orleans. I kind of doubt they're still there. What's this? Uh, 7 Eleven. Sammy's Wood Fried Pizza in La Jolla. Oh, the Marriott Hotel. Tenth anniversary, Betty and Larry, July fifth, nineteen forty-six. I guess that's when they were married. Oh no, it doesn't say tenth. That that wouldn't be possible. This is, I guess, it says fortieth. Yeah, fortieth anniversary. So this was in nineteen eighty-six. Um, so this was uh, a distant relatives, Betty and Larry. St. James Bar, La Jolla. See if you've been to any of these places, anyone who's uh, watching. Oh, the Hard Rock Cafe in San Francisco. I think I celebrated like one of my birthdays there. I think, I don't know, maybe 13 or 14. Golden Lily Restaurant. It says Asian Weekly, not just another restaurant on Grand Avenue in Oakland. Don't think they're there anymore. Another 7-Eleven matchbook. Fat City Bar and Cafe in Sacramento and San Diego. The Farmhouse Coffee Shop in Reno. Oh, that's in the Nugget. Or that was in the Nugget. Uh, this is a duplicate. Looks like another one from the... Um, Cafe Metropole in Berkeley. Uh, this is an old looking one. The Round House Steakhouse. Oh, that's also at the Nugget. I don't know, I must have gone to the Nugget quite a bit. I think I know why, because I went to college in Sacramento and in the mid 90s and um, probably went up to Reno quite a bit at that time. Rubens Steak and Seafood. I don't know where Rubens is. Oh, here it is. They used to have a lot of um, Looks like a lot of locations. I don't recall it at all. A plain red matchbook. Pretty cool. No idea where it's from. Another California Pizza Kitchen one. The Punchline Comedy Club in uh, San Francisco. Oh, I guess there was one in Walnut Creek as well. I don't know if that still exists. Don't think so. Another one from Hyatt Hotels. Tango. It's kind of a cool design. Where was Tango? 21st Street in Sacramento. Interesting. I don't remember this place at all. La Costa. I think that's a hotel in Carlsbad. Maybe it's a restaurant. Mike Anderson's Restaurant and Oyster Bar. They have one in, um, oh, I guess this is from New Orleans. Yeah. When I used to travel, I used to not really like to buy souvenirs, but I'd always take a matchbook. Um, so this is a place called Gino's in Sonoma. Oh, here's another one from Chevy's. And here's just a generic one. Thank you. It says, enjoy life, eat out more often. Ah, Trader Vic's. There's one in Emeryville, and there used to be one in um, San Francisco. The one in Emeryville was closed for a number of years, but is now open again as of maybe five or six years ago. Highly recommended. It's actually pretty good. Um, you know, it's uh, right on the water there. And I recently went there maybe four, three or four years ago. Um, kind of like it. But I used to have an uncle that worked there as well. Happy Seasons Restaurant. Where is this at? Oh, this is on Harrison Street in Oakland. Um, yeah, I don't think they exist anymore. Home of Hibachi Steak. I know what this one is. Benihana. Yep. Benihana um, in San Francisco. I think they're still there.
Harbor Village Restaurant in uh, oh, in Embarcadero in San Francisco. Don't think they're there anymore. Harris Ranch. It's a great place to stop uh, in between San Francisco and LA. They're definitely still there. Stop there frequently. Fog City Diner on Battery Street uh, in San Francisco. They're no longer there. Um, that was a cool place, fun place to go. Margaritaville, huh, interesting. I don't ever remember going there. Oh, this is a different, <laughs> this is a different Margaritaville, Sausalito, yeah, I've been to there. I've been uh, to Margaritaville. The Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas. Santa Fe Bar and Grill. This was on Solano Avenue in Burke. Oh no, this was actually on University. I thought there was one on Solano Avenue, but I guess I'm getting mistaken. Yeah, I remember this place. I know exactly right where it is. I don't think they still exist anymore, but I know where the location of it is. I think it's a school now or something like that. Another Chevy's Fresh Mex matchbook. The Stanford Court. Not familiar with uh, where that is, or what that is. It was in San Francisco. Another one from Harrah's. And this one's got a casino theme. Uh, just a generic matchbook with the casino, you know, card theme. I kind of like the design on this one, pretty cool. Aki restaurant, Japanese food um, on Hearst Street in Berkeley. I think the vast majority of these places no longer exist. Another Harris Ranch one, that one exists. Joshuya, um, Japanese restaurant. I seem to remember, it was on Dwight. I remember this place like from the 80s. Epizote in Del Mar. Oh, and then they had another restaurant, Cilantro's, in uh, Del Mar as well. My grandparents used to live in San Diego, uh, near Del Mar, so you'll probably, there's you know, a lot of restaurant matchbooks from there. This one's interesting. Um, TW Services. It's just a generic, ah, here we go. They're the authorized, they used to be the authorized connoisseur at Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, Bryce, North Rim, Everglades, you know, national parks. That's probably why I got this, because I was, probably got it at uh, a restaurant in um, Grand Canyon or something like that. Fuk Yen Seafood Restaurant. Where was this? Huh, it says Singapore. But, um, oh, Hong Kong, yeah. So I've been to Hong Kong and probably picked this up there. I've never been to Singapore, but I guess they had a location there. And another Chevy's one. It's kind of a cool retro design. Hotel Provincial in New Orleans. Wonder if they still exist. Another one from the Hard Rock in San Francisco. Lo Coco's. Gourmet pasta in Italian on Shattuck Avenue in Berkeley. I think they used to have pizza as well. Um, don't know if they're still there or not. Max's Restaurants. Everything you always wanted to eat. I remember a Max's Opera Cafe in San Francisco. I mean, in um, Sacramento. Yeah, Max's Opera Cafe. There used to be one in San Francisco and also Sacramento. Um, I wonder if they're still there. Wow, another one from Chevy's. I must have gone to Chevy's quite a bit. Norman's. I think I might have another one of these that I've already showed. I'm not sure, on College Avenue. Um, don't think they're there anymore. Another Hotel Provincial. What is this? The Brigantine Seafood. Where was that? Okay, um, those are the different locations. I'm not sure which location I went to. Restaurante Toscana. 
this was in uh, San Rafael on uh, Redwood Highway. Maybe they're still there, I don't know. Fourth Street Grill, that would be in Berkeley. Don't think they're there anymore. Had a different name. Bayou Bar and Grill, flavors of New Orleans. The Hotel Mac, uh, this is in Point Richmond, California. They're definitely still there and they have been there, I don't know for how many years, but um, I remember going there for dinner like even in the 80s. These matches are designed especially for damp climates, but they will not light when wet or after long exposures like several weeks to very damp air. Huh, interesting. So just a generic matchbox, but um, I guess made for damp climates, which is kind of interesting. Or maybe they're just saying that and they're just regular matches. Who knows? Another one from Hotel Mac. I've got some duplicates in here. Another one from Hog Heaven. Another uh, California Pizza Kitchen. Ah, well, the famous Brennan's in uh, New Orleans. They're still there. Kind of an institution. Harrah's Hotel and Casino. A couple more looks like from the Hard Rock, Hard Rock Cafe. Bayou Bar and Grill. I think this was a duplicate. I think that was in there before that I've already covered. Ah, Shadow Brook. This is in, um, I believe, Capitola near uh, Santa Cruz. Nice uh, place right on the river there. Overland House Grill. Have no recollection of this at all. Where is this place? In uh, on Broadway in Oakland. Huh. Interesting. Mr. B's, Ralph and Cindy Brennan. That was uh, in New Orleans. I guess they're, they're the ones who own Brennan's. They had another restaurant, I guess, called Mr. B's. And I think Mr. B's is still there, um, as, as I recall. Um, good place. La Valencia Hotel in uh, La Jolla. Wonder if that's still there. Chaminade in uh, Santa Cruz. That sounds very familiar to me. I wonder if they still exist or not. Everything for your Honda. Oh, Made in Japan. Yeah, this was um, a um, Honda repair shop called Made in Japan in, um, in Albany. They're no longer there. Kind of interesting that they had a matchbook though, or a matchbox. This is kind of an interesting design. Oh, the Mark Hopkins. They're definitely still there. Mark Hopkins Hotel, top of the mark, San Francisco. Holiday Inn. Mini Price Inns. Huh, this was, uh, I guess, in Las Vegas. Huh. I don't know if I stayed there or just went in there to gamble or something. I don't know. Interesting. A couple more Hotel Mac ones. I'm coming down to the wire here, folks. Cobb's Comedy Club in San Francisco. La Playa Hotel, Carmel by the Sea. Best Western. Another Hog Heaven. Kiahuna Plantation on Poipu Beach uh, in Kauai. Yeah, I went there in the 80s. Another one from Hyatt Hotels. City Hotel um, in Columbia, California. That's kind of like up in the uh, up in the hills there. Don't think I stayed there, but probably just went in and grabbed matches. Maybe this one just says "delicious uh, New York style deli." Where was this? Oh, Pacific Grove, California, American uh, Tin Cannery. I wonder if this place is still there. Happy Seasons Restaurant uh, in Harrison. No longer there, I don't think, in Oakland. Felix's in New Orleans. K 
Kimball's on Grove Street in San Francisco. I don't think Kimball's is there anymore. It used to be like a club, a music club. Mi Piazza. Italian bakery and kitchen in Pasadena, California. Huh. Don't have any recollection of that at all. Mel's Drive-In. Huh. Interesting. From San Francisco. I used to have a friend that worked there. Lino's Italian Restaurant. A culinary adventure in an enchanting atmosphere. Old Town San Diego. Lino's. And this looks like a Chinese restaurant. What does it say? Yeah, Pearl Ocean on Terraval in San Francisco. Wonder if they're still there. Kind of doubt it. And last but not least, what do we have here? Another Harrah's matchbook. All right. Sorry for the long video, folks, but uh, this has been a look at uh, my matchbook collection in its entirety. Thanks for watching and questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments field. And I'll see you in my next video.